started right about here. Hillcrest High School had just beaten Madison High by a score of 31 to 6. And the Hillcrest students were heading up this ramp to get on their buses. And I looked over to my right, and here comes about 150 students. Uh, we were pelted with rocks, and uh, I don't think we had all our windows up. When I made them all the windows up, and uh, as we got to the light, several rocks were thrown at us. This meeting this afternoon was an attempt by DISD officials to find out exactly what happened last night. It sounded like an explosion, but I guess it was just a large rock or something hitting the side of the bus. And I looked back, and of course a lot of, a lot of my kids were already starting to holler and scream. Adults and youths threw bricks and rocks. We had one large rock right behind the driver's seat to tell the story. These kids were being kicked and hit, and, and it was like, a, if any of you have watched the Jacques Cousteau uh, uh, films about sharks, it was like the, the frenzy. The more that happened, uh, uh, the more frenzy they got. The attackers were described as roving groups of black youths. What was learned today is that a similar incident occurred last week when Madison High played another school. And the sad thing is one thing it happened, but the sadder thing that it's happened before and nothing was done about it. I talked to the officer who responded to the incident last night when the little girl was hurt with the rock. He said, if you're coming down here next week, you better get some more police out. He said, we've got more than we can handle in this neighborhood without a ball game. School officials say they'll investigate, but the district will continue to play football games at the Cotton Bowl. Clint Bond, Channel 5 Action News, Dallas.